Ladies and gentlemen, let's give the best man a nice round of applause all the way from Southern California, Rick Leone. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, I don't know who's more nervous today, me for having to say a few words, or John and Cindy for getting married. Um, December 12th, 1991, I was sleeping. 11.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 2.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. My phone rings. It's my buddy John. He says, Shaw. That's my nickname. He says, Shaw, got to talk to you, man. I met, I met someone tonight, and I had to call you because I think this is the girl I'm going to marry. So I said, thank you very much, and I hung up. <laughs> no, I didn't. You know, you know, if you talk to John, John just gives details after details. So about an hour and a half later, then we said bye, we hung up. And I always remember that, that night, because it was the only time it ever happened. And uh, here we are today on September 7th, 1996, and it happened. Um, I'd like to uh, say a couple of words about each of them. First of all, Cindy, uh, the first time we met, we, uh, we had an instant, instant bond. You know how it is, tough time. It's tough sometimes meeting the other half of a friend of yours, and sometimes you get along, sometimes you don't. And with her, it was very, very easy. And she's always been kind, generous, in fact, I don't know if many of you know, maybe most of you do, John's job takes him, takes him out, of, out of the state um, quite often, probably more than 50% of the time sometimes. And they now live in Cincinnati, and uh, she's, a couple of times I've had to go to Cincinnati and uh, on business, and she's been kind enough to always welcome me in, even when John's not around. I know. And uh, in fact, uh, a couple times, just in case I, I came and she wasn't around, she would give me a key to her, to their place. And I think it's proper for me at this time to hand over the key back to you. Um, just before I go any further, I know Cindy, and I know she's generous and hospitable. Just by chance, I think it's only proper again. If there's anyone else out there that might have a key, if you could bring it up at this time. Cindy. Um, real quick here for John, 
We've been friends. We've known each other longer than we've really been good friends. Uh, before anyone, by the way, are there any exes of his that might have a key? <laughs> We gotta keep it clean both ways. So. I've only had one, see? Not that there's anything wrong with that. Um, so anyway, about John, John and I uh, really, he moved out to California six months before I did, blah, blah, blah. We hung out together and um, uh, a couple of years after I moved out, he needed a place to stay for a couple of weeks. He asked me if he could move in for two, three weeks, and I, you know I didn't know him all that well then. And um, I think really our friendship really began when those two, three weeks turned into nine months. When nine months later, I kicked him out. And actually, that's when we really started to become very close friends. We share a lot together. And uh, I, I feel very close to both John and Cindy. And uh, I'm so glad, I'm so honored that I'm the best man. I'm really happy for the both of them. They wear their emotions on their sleeves as if you were at the ceremony, you do. Know. But finally, here's to John and Cindy. Here's to health. Everyone raise their glass. To health, happiness, love and friendship. And they, they always have what they have today, and that's the love of their friends and the love of each other. Cheers.